Oh god. This is Beyond Reviews. You're watching Beyond Reviews TV, your home for entertaining, informative reviews. In this episode, we're going to review the PS4 VR aim controller playing the Firewall Zero Hour game. Stay tuned. Oh snap, man. That's crazy. What the? Oh! Oh god. Huh? Ah, oh shoot. Wrong. Oh gosh. What's this? X. Oh! Oh man, this is... Oh! Out of ammo? What? Oh man. Uh. What? Ooh. Oh. Where am I supposed to go? There. Oh. There. Oh. What am I doing? 30 seconds, pick it up. 30 seconds, geez. Let me get this. Okay guys, so I was playing for about six minutes there and uh, I think uh, you really have to build your stamina because you know when you play it for a long time you will get dizzy so Make sure you take your breaks, and I'm taking my break right now, so uh, I'll play again in a bit. Round two. Two hours later. So we're gonna play again for the second time. Uh, I've got enough rest, so I don't feel so dizzy. I'm gonna try playing without my glasses on, and let's see how I do this time. Round two. Oh, and I'm, and I'm sitting down this time, because uh, every time I was moving forward, I was kind of like moving like this, so you don't want to do that. So each time you change position, you press the option here and it centers the screen. What the? Weird. That's weird.
Sub coordinates are live to devices. Go time. Still trying to get used to this. Um, I was trying to run, but it wouldn't let me run. But uh, yeah, I don't feel as dizzy as much. Took off my glasses, it feels a little bit better. Um, let's see how my stats are 14 kills this time. Not bad. Okay, so what do we think about the PS4 VR aim controller and the Firewall Zero Hour bundle pack? Well, for 4,990 pesos uh, available at Data Blitz, it's definitely an okay game. I wouldn't say it's the best because I got really dizzy while playing it. So for those who love first-person shooter games like the way we do here at Beyond Reviews, definitely it's a good game to get because it's only about $100. You get this uh, PS4 VR aim controller and you also get a game called the Firewall Zero Hour. It's a great game, it has a training mode, it has the contract mode, it's like a campaign, so you can do a lot of different things there. And you can also do the online game, which is the four versus four PVP mode. I haven't tried that yet because I'm a bit dizzy. I need to build up more stamina. This is the first time we ever got this and this is the first time I'm playing it. And uh, definitely we'll do an update video when I get more kills. But once you get this, definitely you have to charge it and charge it on your uh, PS4 module with the USB and it's right over here um, just leave it and once you install the game you will have to do an update it took about six hours with PLDT internet here in the Philippines six hours to update the PS4 VR aim controller so it had to be updated along with the game also it took about six hours so I left it overnight and so we got to play today overall definitely uh, try out the game first or any type of VR if you've never played virtual reality games before do try it before you plan on getting this because you might not be able to play because it's really you know you will get nauseated and even me who plays a lot of virtual reality games I got a little bit dizzy I love first-person shooting games I love first-person shooter games and I still got dizzy um, so when you do get this, make sure you already have the VR goggles and the camera over there so that you don't miss out on anything. And then you get this before you can play this because you cannot play it without the gun. So this is Blake from Beyond Reviews TV. Watch before you buy. Stay tuned for our next episodes. If you have played this game, leave a comment and maybe we can play online also. But yeah, leave a comment and we'll chat. And how long can you play this game? And I got really dizzy. Whew. Hopefully I can play longer next time. See you guys.